Did more now on the couple who allegedly failed to deliver $32 million worth of luxury goods to their customers. Police on Wednesday revealed their identities. He is a 26-year-old Singaporean man, P. Jia Peng, and she is a 27-year-old Thai woman, Pan Suk Siri Wapa. The Straits Times understands the undelivered items were mostly watches. The police are also investigating allegations of cheating involving Trade Nation and Trade Luxury, the two companies associated with the couple. Let's find out more about this couple and how they got away. I'm joined by journalist Nadine Chua, who's been following this story. So Nadine, warrants of arrest and Interpol writ notices have been issued against the pair. In fact, Singapore authorities had already arrested the man, P. Jia Peng. How did he and the woman then slip through the cracks and get away? On June 28, a day after the man's arrest, his passport was impounded and he was released on bail pending investigations. His wife was also assisting the police with investigations and surrendered her passport to them. The couple subsequently became uncontactable. So what happened next? Well, we found out yesterday the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority told ST that the couple had fled Singapore with the help of a Malaysian man. He hid the couple in a container compartment of a lorry. The police arrested the Malaysian man last week for allegedly helping the Singap uh, couple leave Singapore on July 4th. And as you mentioned, Suen, the arrest warrants for them are still out. So you've been following the story and talking to people who have interacted with the couple. Can you paint us a picture of what they're like? How do they get away with fooling so many victims? Well, most of the victims I spoke to said the couple were charming and very friendly. But the key reason why the couple got away with swindling the victims was because they gained their trust. Victims started out by buying only one or two watches. And when the couple delivered them on time and in good condition, this gave the victims the push to splurge on larger purchases. The Straits Times will continue to be monitoring this case. Many thanks to Nadine Chua, journalist at The Straits Times. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.